the scalar and vector magnetic potentials. The solution of electrostatic field problems is greatly simplified by the use of the scalar electrostatic potential V. We should question whether or not such assistance is available in magnetic fields. Can we define a potential function which may be found from the current distribution and from which the magnetic fields may be easily determined? Can a scalar magnetic potential be defined similar to the scalar electrostatic potential? We shall show in the next that the answer to the first question is yes, but the second must be answered sometimes. Let us attack the last question first by assuming the existence of a scalar magnetic potential which we designate um, Vm whose negative this negative gradient gives the magnetic field intensity. Okay, and the selection of the negative gradient will provide us with a closer analogy to the electric potential and to problems which we have already solved and this definition must not conflict with our previous result for the magnetic field and therefore the gradients cross product of H is equal to J is equal to gradient cross product of negative gradient Vm. And H is to be defined as the gradient of a scalar magnetic potential. So we then have we then have H is equal to negative gradient Vm where J where J is equal to zero. This scalar potential also satisfies the places equation in free space. Gradient that product of B is equal to permeability of free space. Gradient that product of H is equal to zero. And hence, the permeability of free space, gradient, that product of negative gradient, Vm, is also equal to zero. So, we have gradient square, Vm, is equal to zero, where J is also equal to zero. The scalar magnetic potential Vm is a multivalued function of P. In the region of A and B, the electrostatic potential is always single value. I is the total current following in the AZ, direction in the inner conductor. Now, let us find Vm by integrating the appropriate component of the gradient. Partial derivative of Vm over partial derivative of V is equal to the negative 1, negative i, negative i over 2 pi. So, Vm is equal to negative i 2 pi times P. The reason for 
Aberdeen's multi-valuedness may be shown by a comparison with the electrostatic case. There, we know that gradient cross product E is equal to zero. And also the integration in one revolution E dot PL is also equal to zero. And therefore, the line integral is equal to V AB is equal to negative integral E that product BL limit A B. It is independent of the path in the magnet magnetostatic case. However, gradient cross product of H is equal to zero wherever J is equal to zero. But the integration in one revolution H dot DL is equal to the current I. Even if J is equal to zero along the path of integration, every time we make another complete lap around the current, the result of the integration increases by I. If no current I is enclosed by the path, then a single valued potential function may be defined. In general, Vm VMAB is equal to the negative integral of H that PL limit A and B. Now, the next one is the vector identity. Which we prove that the divergence of the curl of any vector field is zero. Therefore, we select B is equal to gradient cross product of A. A is signifies a vector magnetic potential. And we automatically satisfy the condition that the magnetic flux density shall have zero divergence. Given the bayard savart law, the definition of B and the definition of A, then A may be determined from the differential current elements by A is equal to enclosed integration permeability of free space times I DL all over 4 pi R. The significance of that term is the same as in the bayard savart law. A direct current I flows along a filamentary conductor of which any differential length DL is distance r from the point at which a is to be found. Now, in this figure, the differential current at the origin establishes the differential vector magnetic potential field. In the expression for the vector magnetic potential a, can also be obtained for a current source which is distributed for a current sheet K, the differential current elements becomes 
and BL is equal to K B S. In case of the current flow throughout a volume with a density J, we have we have I B L is equal to J B B. In each of these two expressions, the vector character is given to the current. And the alternative expression for A are then A is equal to integral ng permeability space KDS over for pi r and a is also equal to integral of permeability space jdv over for pi r this one is limit to the surface and this one is the Volume. And that's all. Thank you for listening. Bye.